So it has occurred to me, uh, Tencent has been making a new uh, chi big, quote unquote, big Chinese uh, battlefield killer, whatever they're trying to sell it as. Um, this time using the Delta Force IP, which uh, I have a problem with because Del the Delta Force, De sorry, the Delta Force IP is, is um, it's a great game series. I, I really enjoyed their uh, Black Hawk Down game when uh, the internet would run out and I had to play anything else but my online games. Um, and when I saw this, I was like, oh man, they're making they're making a remake, maybe, possibly? I mean, it says Hawk Ops. I would, I would, I would imagine it would be based off Black Hawk Down. And I played the video. Oh, yeah, look, it's the scene from Black Hawk Down where all the uh, Black Hawks with the Rangers are in, in, the, in the formation and they're flying into Mogadishu. This looks promising, I guess. Let's see. <clears throat> so here's another scene that they've, uh, I guess you could say ripped or inspired, I guess, from uh, from the movie. I, I feel like if you just put a yellow filter in here, it would look one-to-one -to, -one to the movie. But, um... <clears throat> So it looks quite promising. And I see this. Now, those of you who don't pay too much attention to, um, you know, weapon animations and games, this is the M16 animation, or here we can see the idle animation from Modern Warfare 2, the new one, 22. Um, you can see that from the way that he is holding his his weapon uh which is using the c-clamp you know grip over the bore of the of the handguard of the of the i'm guessing this is a car 15 um which is also strange because <laughs> you, if you see this rear reticle here this is something that call of duty loves to do a lot which is to widen the rear reticle so that players could oh my god stop texting me so that players could be more easily uh, so you could, you know, you could easily more acquire targets. I'm sorry for my botched speech. I'm just really frustrated about this. Um, there's also a real detail here where they added a little friggin' hole here. I'm not sure why that is. I'm guessing this is supposed to be an, uh, a car 15. Uh, I'm, because I'm also guessing we're playing as Delta Force here. It's me, the game, Delta Force. We're playing as Delta Force, obviously. Which makes it even more weirder because we see knobs here. So you could take off the carry handle, which wouldn't make sense on, on an M6, or I mean, a, a car 15. So that's really strange. Um, also, the gloves are the, the wrong type of gloves that Delta Force operators would have worn at that time. Uh, at that time, they would have worn the Nomex flight gloves, but sure. Also, if you notice here... This guy's a crew chief. I'm not sure why a crew chief would be there. Um, another detail they've missed is that the loadout for the uh, Car 15 back then, during the the uh, Operation um, Gothic Serpent, was you'd have a red dot, or uh, yeah, a red dot. I think it's an aim point two two thousand that would be attached on the carrying handle and uh, usually a light or a suppressor here. But I guess not. Even more stranger, if you look at these uh, passing Delta operators. This guy has a Moe stock, which you guys don't know. A Moe stock is uh, is a is is a type of uh, AR stock, a trackable stock that is a bit too high speed for 1993. Um, I don't remember when it was made, but it was definitely not 1993. It was probably made around 2000 and something. But uh, yeah, sure. Everything just looks like really pre-rendered, and also the animation for the walking is also from Modern Warfare 20, 2019 and 2022. Oh, that's some Humvees. Uh, these are the wrong color Humvees. Back then, they would have used the uh, green woodland colored Humvees. Oh, sure. Someone get on the 50. Wow, isn't that nostalgic? We have a minigun section, which, I mean, it's a minigun section. Aside from the minigun not sound like a minigun, uh, I would have loved for it to, to sound like the movie. That's besides the point. Oh, and we got a Black Hawk Down. I mean, dude, it's Black Hawk Down, jeez. Very interesting. 
Uh, this part is a bit strange how they see how, how they put the the Blackhawk aging, because after the Blackhawks are down and all the 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 members uh, of, of of the U.S. military were lifted from the Blackhawks, they blew it up. So I'm not sure why it would be still relatively intact. Still be relatively intact. It should be in smithereens because you know. By 2035. <sighs> You gotta make it into the future. You just gotta. We cool. have formed a new breed of elite know. special forces. So I just want to say everything looks Orbit. very. It looks very Unity store asset or, or Unreal Engine store asset. I I just I it's so shitty. It's so iffy shitty. This threats to our global society. And they also do the, the whole hero operator thing that uh, everyone hated from Battlefield 2042. So I'm not sure why they're trying to do that. If they really want to keep the, the core audience of Black, uh, of Delta Force, I mean, which is uh, old heads just trying to have a good time. So. No, no fear. No I retreat. Mean, <sighs> this guy doesn't even have an optic, for God's sakes. This is a fully flat rail with no optics no irons nothing interesting and there's something about this little thingy majig all right and you're gonna see here here's some more uh, animations that they've ripped from modern warfare um one thing that's funny ja uh, i'm sorry i mean chinese studios game studios that try to make the next big western styled fps game love stealing animations you've seen from uh that other chinese game arena breakout how they've stolen most of uh tarkov escape from tarkov's animations um and they've done it yet again but now it's cod which is quite funny yeah you can see the, the walk animation is straight just cod i have I am so confused as to who would find this remotely f good. It's just some friggin' Unity Unreal assets with some stolen animations. Come on, dude! That is the... That is the Desert Eagle from Modern Warfare. What else could that be? Corky, Corky, Corky. It's so quirky, guys. I love my quirky characters. And now I just teleports into Battlefield 2042. Yeah, this, this, if you were to tell me, oh, I'm playing Battlefield 2042 and you, you were to stream me this on Discord, I would 100% believe you. Look at that! There's no difference. And also, look, more thought animations. It just looks like glue. It just looks like absolute garbage, man. I mean, look at how that, that black eye exploded. Everything just... <laughs> That's a bit funny. Oh, well, it's, you know, it's a Chinese game. Chinese games don't usually have the best... Uh looking graphics or, or anything. The only Chinese game that uh, is remotely playable is Genshin Impact <laughs> and Girls Frontline and, and stuff. Just mobile games. Chinese studios make the most mobile uh, mobile gameplay PC games ever. I'm not sure why the original people behind Delta Force were to so sell their IP to whatever Chinese company this is. <sighs> I guess for money. Um, but yeah, this is uh this is nine times out of ten this is probably gonna be a scam. Um so uh be be careful when this releases guys. Have a have a nice day.